welcome to this video. We are entering week four of our solar project. And as you see behind me, no workers. There were no workers in the third week. Today is Monday, entering the fourth week, as I mentioned, and uh, we are expecting them, hopefully, to come today and finally go on installing the solar panels. It's kind of overdue, but there were reasons for that and I will talk about the reasons in the next video. In this video I will show you how week two actually ended. There were some special things that had to be done and uh, stay tuned, watch. It's gonna be very interesting and uh, have a lot of fun. Here we go. Things are speeding up considerably. <clears throat> like the, the one thing was that they already started much earlier this morning. And um, yeah, so he said that by the end of this week they will be ready with the, this under construction here. So next week the panels will be installed. Let's see if it's gonna be like that but I really like to see them all working already early in the morning. And the weather is great, at least for the moment. <laughs> We are discussing the trees here, this tree, and also, and also that tree over there. They are not ideal for the optimal production of the energy of solar energy here. So we have to think about what we are going to do about it. What we cannot remove is the house. At the, in, the, in the late afternoon, evening, the house is of course in the way, but uh, the, we don't have to think about that because that cannot be removed. But of course we can do something about the trees. So that's what they are discussing here. Okay. And our estimation, how, how many percent would it produce now of the optimal 100 percent? How many? 30 to 40 And then maybe maybe in two hours like 70 to 80 and then 100 at noon? No, 100 at about 10 o'clock. 10 o'clock already? So you'll have a full charge. Most From 10 to, to yeah. 2 or From 3. From 10, 10 to 3 is yeah. full. full charge. Later the sun will disappear behind the house, but that we cannot change. <laughs> <laughs> Because when the sun is behind the house, there is not really so much going on there anymore. Eight towards ano, mga nine, ganyan, ayan, tuloy tuloy cool. na yan, dere 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 na. Nine to, at least nine to three. By, ten, o, by ten o'clock, you can turn on the AC, full power. Uh -huh. And then, ten yeah, o'clock. We don't do it sooner anyway, yeah, right? Yeah, sometimes nag aantay kami, mga eleven, ganyan. Yeah. Uh, by, video, ano na. Once you have this, by ten o'clock. Okay. 
all you turn on all of the AC by 10 o'clock yeah until 4 that's okay. no problem yeah. now we are discussing the electricity meter here for the houses on the other side of the street but uh, in order because we have the input into the, the into the grid and the and and the, the power that we receive from the grid from the Senpelco Central Pangasinan Electricity Cooperate or something like that and uh, the engineer tells us that it's not going to work when it's on the other side so we need to have it installed here make a box here and there will be two meters for going out and for coming in and uh, the Senpelco people will still be able to read it without entering here the premises but uh, I have no idea how complicated that will be. So we already called this uh, Zenpelko and so we hope that it's gonna be smooth. But of course you never know. But uh, yeah, I will tell you more once it's done at the latest. Why these guys are still here? We are now having them cut uh, the tree here a little bit. Um, huge mango tree because especially now at this time of the year when the Sun is slightly to the north this is like the, the northern direction here and uh, it's not optimal while then later in August the Sun will be in the zenith again directly above us and then after that it will be until May it will rather be a little bit south on the south side at least at noon of course and um, that will that will definitely be more ideal on the other hand now we have the longest days of the year but the sun takes a slightly northern path right now very slightly it's still very very high yeah. there will still be enough tree left and there will still be enough mangoes left. Actually, I see this is one of our guys anyway. This is our Ivan. Now this time I went on the rooftop here of the house and we can look more Hi. from above. Hi! He's still working there in the tree. And uh, yeah, we can see it's about, what time is it? I think 2.30. PM of course and uh, the sun the sun is in over there and I can tell by the I can tell by the shadow that the sun is now in a northwestern position in the afternoon And as we can see here, that is very good.
Oh oh. <laughs> so this is how Friday ends at uh, 5 p.m. is there would still be one and a half hours that uh, that they could go on with the work, but of course not in this rain in the middle of a thunderstorm and uh, at the moment I don't believe that this will end very soon. I guess it will take at least an hour and uh, I don't know how far they got now. I don't know if they will stay until tomorrow. We will find it out. Uh, today they m made a lot of progress I guess because until just 10 minutes ago the weather was really good. Very hot but at least no rain. But I fear that's it for this week. Hmm. Well, today is Saturday and um, so they would have left actually yesterday on Friday but it wasn't completely finished yet and they will have to to finish the preparations this under construction today from my understanding because next week a new team will arrive here and they will start to install the actual solar panels At least we can definitely see a difference now, especially to last week. The sun is shining, it's very hot there. That's no fun. But yeah, that's the Philippines. Yesterday in the late afternoon we had a, an extremely heavy shower. Well, shower, is, shower doesn't really describe it. It lasted for maybe two hours. And, uh, and a part of the place down there was immediately underwater. There was so much rain within a very short time. But when it stopped, the rain immediately sank in the ground again. So we never really have flooding here. But that rain yesterday was more than, than usually. And now, this morning, it's like nothing ever happened at all. That's the weather in a tropical country. So let's see how far they get today. There you are. Okay, very good. Okay. So next week? Next week, uh, railing, panels, inverter, and some uh, simple cock. Okay. So that needs to be transferred. Yeah. Possibly, they will transfer from there. That's but that's okay if he comes next week, I guess. No. Saturday late afternoon and the workers just left and uh, yes this is under construction here for the to carry the solar panels at least from what they told us is finished so let's see hopefully on Monday already that other team that will be coming will start to install those solar panels and that will be in the next video the ladder and of course the solar panels 
that you already see here and there. They will come in handy next week. Subscribe to the channel, activate the bell. Of course, please give this video a like. It also helps the algorithm to actually recognize this video as important for a broader audience. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much for liking. Thank you all the subscribers to this channel. And uh, we will see each other then very soon. And I think it will become even more interesting from now on. So see you soon. Bye.